We're back in the garage. It's the middle of winter. It's freezing. Um, but I've decided to buy some more motorcycle security. And we've gone for the road lock radial brake system. As you can see, I've already fit the road lock. It's um, quite impressive. It's quite expensive with the kit, so I thought I'd quickly show you how it works to see if it's really for you or not. It is very simple, and all you have to do is carry around this little pin, spring loaded. So what happens is you put your key in, turn it fully clockwise, insert the pin, then, un then lock it, take your key out. Spring loaded, so you rotate the wheel now until you re-click. Oh, I was already there. Now that is locked and that doesn't go anywhere. The beauty of this is it's like having the brake on so you can't actually set off with this in place so you're not going to go two foot and fall over when the disc lock comes over and damages your mud guard and you fall off. So nice and easy on the sides on the centre stand. What's it like though for a side stand? Well actually it's just as good. So the bike's on the side stand. There's no hole lined up at the moment. Push it in as far as you can. Lock it. Now that's spring loaded. Now it's just a case of simply pushing the bike forwards or backwards until you hear the click. And it doesn't have to travel very far. And that's it. The bike's locked in place. Simple as that. So that's it working. Next, how to fit it. Roll the VT. Basically this is fitted to the caliper and you put a, a pin, a lockable pin through here, through these discs. And that's the pin. Goes through there. Obviously your wheel can't turn then. So it's only for radial mounted calipers and they're the calipers which have the bolts going that way towards the centre of the wheel as opposed to the other axial ones which have the bolts that way to hold the caliper in place. If you're not sure, go on the Road Lock website and uh, experience everything. When you purchase this, you go through a drop down menu so you get the right bike and the right lock. No instructions, but if you scan the QR code, you download the instructions in there. Pretty straightforward. We do have to make a few measurements so we know which spaces and bolts to fit. Pretty straightforward, really. You just need on the Ducati Multistride, anyway. Um, M8 Allen bolt adapter and a ruler or calipers just to do a bit of measurement. Right, as you can see, you get various spaces, various size bolts. They're supposed to be marked up, but I can't see any markings on them at all. So, it's a case of me assuming you get the correct size spaces they've got to be identical ones so part one is to remove a bolt and measure the gap so you know what size spacer to use don't suppose it matters which one but it does show the top bolt on the diagram right so it says Unthread it totally, then rest it against the thread and measure that gap. So, we have a gap of exactly 20 millimeters. Just out of interest, I'm just going to measure the length of this bolt, the original bolt, 60 millimeters. So, we want at least 20 millimeters of thread on the bolt going in. Right, I don't know if you can tell, but it actually has a, has a cut out. So I'm gonna measure that little thin bit there. 10 mil. Now the smallest space we've got is, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, 13 millimeter. So 13 and 10 is 23, we had 20. So a simple 80 millimeter bolt will have three millimeters less thread going in. 
So we have to use a 90 millimeter bolt with one of these collars, which are five millimeters, which means that's an 85 millimeter with the collar on. So 85, 23, that'll give us an extra two millimeters of thread. Now, the thread goes straight through and a 90 millimeter bolt as long as it doesn't come out the other side, we should be fine. 13 millimetres. So start for the smallest ones and progress. So let's take this bottom bolt out first. So once out the smallest spaces. Right, the bomb bolt, we're just going to push it in until we hit the thread. Then we're going to measure this distance again. It has to be more than 20 millimetres, which it certainly looks like. With everything pushed up tight, we've got a gap of 23 millimetres. So that's spot on that. So that's the bottom bolt, hand tight, the top bolt is just slack. So now we need to make sure these line up. And it's just a little bit out. I don't even see the holes. But it's just a little, littlest a bit out. Right, we'll have to use a different size spacer then. So we'll have to go for the next size spacer up, which is 15 millimetres. So we have our 15 millimetre spacer now. Again, this one's hand tight. tight absolutely spot on that so if we take our road lock pin that should just go in right we'll tighten this one up next and again we'll do it hand tight for now and that looks straight again okay fully clockwise Pin goes in, perfect, comes out. Right, I'm happy with that. I think now we'll um, torque it up. Totally happy that we've got the right setup now with the 15 millimeter spacer, um, but also I'm gonna put a bit of thread lock on these bolts first. Bit of Loctite, it really doesn't need much at all. All right, now we just need to torque everything up again. Get somewhere close. So two newton meters, first of all, my handbook says, which is just a little bit more than hand tight. So torque wrench set for 45, which my handbook says. Also says apply the front brake lever. So just do a little bit at a time. Front brake lever is held in tightly. Satisfying click. Release the brake lever. Try one more time. Solid. Make sure it comes out okay. 
and it's not catching anywhere. We have a dust cover. Well, it's a plastic plug, which shouldn't go all the way in, but you do still need to lock it into position. And that goes in there. Now, it doesn't come with the red dots on. I've just done that so I don't lose it. And that is your normal riding position. So that's it. It didn't take very long to fit it. It's quite straightforward. It looks like a really nice piece of kit. One thing I do want to say then, I probably should have said this at the very beginning of the video. If you are not 110% competent or confident fitting this onto your brake system, don't do it. Please don't do it. Take the regards, they're not going to charge you very much and it's just for your own peace of mind and safety. If anything goes wrong with this, it could be disastrous. Saying that, uh, it's gone pretty well. I'm happy with it. I'm not going to do a review right now. I'm going to leave it for maybe a couple of weeks, compare this with my other disc locks and probably do a video just on security on the bike itself. But for now, I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well so you do find out when that security video comes out and the review of this road lock, disc lock. But for now, uh, that's it. I'm happy. See you in the next video.